Hello there, Mark here. Welcome to another video on Yuhi's Zebra. Today, I think we'll go for a kind of like a plucky type sound. Kind of plucky pseudo acid type sound. Now, the reason for doing this today is just to show you with the most basic of tools, you can come up with a really almost like a staple of a lot of dance music, especially a lot of the lighter dance music, you know, kind of um, like certain kinds of trance, certain kinds of house that have got that nice plucky type generally used in arpeggiator type sounds. Now, um, I'm just going to, before I do anything, I'm just going to create a little, just a couple of notes really, it's just so I can hear um, the patch evolving and the type of melody that is being used or that this would be used for. And I guess you would probably have, well, let's just, you would probably have this kind of deal going on. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is initialize our patch, and we're going to go down and make sure it's a saw wave, which it is. I'm just going to normalize it, and pop the resolution up, and change that to crisp, because I'm going to be wanting to bring out, it's a kind of high frequency noise, this, or sound, should I say. So, what have we got to start with? Okay, I'm going to put hard sync on. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll probably turn the volume up. The reason I'm doing that is because this sound can sound better with the sync. The sync makes it really aggressive. So it's up to you. We'll just put a little bit of sync on it. And you could add some effects as well, something like the brilliance stuff like that if you like but I'm going to keep this nice and simple so we have that yeah. okay so we're just going to add a voltage control filter to that and I'm going to use probably the, the all round shall we use that yeah and we're going to drop it all together and we're going to ask envelope 2 to do the donkey work here now Oh, I'm just going to turn that straight up. Now, but what I'm also going to do is turn that off first. Sorry, I should have done this first. Mess around with the amplitude envelope because it's going to be, it's a plucky sound. Now, if you listen. We don't really want that. We want to remove the sustain. We want that short note type sound. Now, that's probably far too... Short. Okay, we'll leave it there. Add the filter back in. And now we want the same kind of envelope controlling the cutoff. Again, plucky. Drop the release a little bit, I guess. Now we could just move the the cutoff and the envelope amount to get the sound. Now as you hear, as we're bringing that down, because it's less of the envelope two has been sent to the cutoff, it's adversely affecting the cutoff frequency. So we could bring it down, but just add in a little bit of cutoff, or we could just leave it like that. It's up to you. Mess around. Some settings will be suited to certain kinds of music, certain types of melody, etc. So what we got so far? Okay, so that's pretty much it, really. Now, these types of sounds, now that is pretty boring, let's be honest. However, when you're when you're creating these types of sounds, generally the effects are going to work wonders for you. So even if I just add a delay, a reverb, and an EQ, and I'll turn the EQ and the reverb off to start with. Now already the delay is making a huge difference. 
especially the dotted delays. I love that. Now, see, I think that's great. And then if you turn the reverb on, and you just really need to be really gentle with the reverb, really. Just with the addition of the delay and the reverb, it sounds like a totally different sound to me. Okay, and then finally the EQ. Now, I would use the EQ basically to cut off most of the lows, add in some highs, and maybe find a peak around the uh, low mids. Excuse me. What I would like to do is see what this sounds like ramping. Okay, I'm feeling that. So what I'm going to do is... Now, of course, we could modulate that. We could go into the matrix and modulate the envelopes. Uh, sorry, the EQs gain in frequency. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's not as much fun that way. We're going to do it in the XY. Now, it really does depend what you want to do, really. In this instance, I'm going to use our performance here. So the x-axis, which is here, we're going to have EQ. I think it's frequency mid-2. So let's just try that. frequency is it it's gain we're oh no no frequency we want to ramp for sure so then on the y axis we'll go to the same equalizer so what we got there frequency mid to so we want gain mid to there so let's see what that does So that's it. It's this section here that I'm really looking for because this is the kind of sound that I would love to modulate and play with live. And if you've got things like iPads and um, ribbon controllers and stuff, you can get them set up to this as your MIDI learn, which I could probably show you here just by using a knob or two. There we go. And that, I can do that. So now I've got one set to a fader on my MIDI controller and one to my knob. Not my knob, a knob on the MIDI controller. Oops, right, and if we press play. So that's it. Just a real easy sound, but it's used in so many tracks, that type of sound. Just as that little kind of arpeggiated background filler, I guess it could be. It could just be taking up that higher registers of the frequency range. I guess let's hear what it sounds like down low. Ah, see, it's, there's not really much use for it down there. I suppose you could get away with that. But there you go, it's a 
you can't really get much simpler than that, you know? And you could mess around with a glide, you could put it into legato mode and use it for, if you have sliding notes, you could do anything you want. But that's a real nice basic staple. So a nice little short, clever one today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to sign up to the YouTube site so that you don't miss any videos. That's the address just there. Also sign up to zebratutorials.com as well to get on to our newsletter. And I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, any questions, ask. Any requests, ask. And I'll get right on to it for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.